Hi, I'm Joey Roberts, and I'm here to bring you the TSPN Sports Recap, where I'll give you a few fall accomplishments to go along with an update on the winter sports season. Check it out. On Thursday, December 11th, Eric McGrath was honored by the New England Writers Association as the Boston Globe Division II and Division III Player of the Year. The award just adds to the abundance of accolades the quarterback has already earned, which includes the NESCAC Offense Player of the Year, First Team All-New England, and an All-NESCAC First Team Selection. Eric will take all the accolades and put them aside as he is preparing for the upcoming baseball season as a pitcher for the defending national champions. The men's tennis team finished the fall as the third best team in the Northeast region and the number 14 team nationally. The team is led by junior Spencer Feldman who is ranked as the number three singles player in the Northeast which is good for a national ranking of 13 overall. Coach Paul Asiante's team will look to improve on last year's 13-3 spring season and avenge their NESCAC semifinal loss to Bowden. It all starts in March. Keep your eyes open for the men's tennis team. The men's basketball team has had a rough start to the season as they are 2-5 and five heading into the winter break. However, the five losses are by an average of four points per game. The team is statistically led in points by sophomore guard Brian Ford, who is averaging 16.9 points a game. During the break, the men will host a Trinity Invitational, then will go on the road to Rhode Island College, followed by a home game against WPI. On January 16th, they will open up NESCAC play against Connecticut College, then follow up the next day at home against Wesleyan. Keep an eye out for the men to use the winter break as a turning point in their season. Also look for the TSPN pregame show when the break is over. The women's basketball team is off to their best start in 10 years at 8-0 going into the winter break. They have been led by junior guard Claire Arnstein who is averaging 12 points and 6 rebounds a game. During the winter break, the women will host two games while they will go on the road for four games including the NESCAC opener versus Connecticut College on January 16th and a crucial game against Westland on the 17th. Stay tuned to the athletic website to see if these women can keep the perfection alive. Women's hockey is 4-2 ov overall, heading into the winter break. Sophomore forward Kim Weiss has led the team in points so far, while junior forward Brittany McKenna leads the team in goals. They will participate in the Coldfish Bowl tournament over the winter break and play a crucial game against Middlebury on the road. The women look to keep the winning attitude alive and take it into the spring semester. Men's hockey is currently 3-3 and and coming off an 8-3 victory over the University of Massachusetts Boston. They are led in points by senior defenseman Chris Diozzi with 7 and in goals by freshman forward Paul Jaskow with 4. During the break, they'll play in the Assumption Holiday Classic, then have two non-conference home games before they continue NESCAC play against Westland at home on the 13th. After that, they'll head to New England College and St. Aslan before the break is over. The Bantams hope the momentum gained this winter break will put them in position to bring home back-to-back -back NESCAC titles. Men's squash has been dominant so far, shutting out their only three opponents. The defending national champions have increased the national record winning streak to 186 consecutive games. During the break, they will play rival Brown University on the 15th and Dartmouth College on the 17th, both of which are on the road before they come back to play Bowden and George Washington at home on the 18th. Keep your eye out for the January 21st home match against Yale. The women's squash team have started off 4-0. Freshman Nar Nagat and junior Nayeli Hernandez are leading a team that has not dropped a match in the four victories. The women will get a nice break from the action as they continue play on the road against Brown on the 15th, then continue on the road against Dartmouth on the 17th before they come home to play Bone and Bates on the 18th. Keep an eye out for the Jan January 21st matchup at home against Yale as the Bulldogs are one of the marquee opponents that the Bantams will take on this year. Women's swimming and diving is coming off a fourth place finish at the Cardinal Invitational at Wesleyan University. Sophomore Brooke Haynes led the way for the Bantams with her fourth place finish in the 200 yard butterfly and she also placed top 10 in all six of her events. The women will have away meets at Vassar and Wheaton before they return home to take on Brandeis on the 24th. Men's swimming and diving is also coming off a fourth place finish at the Cardinal Invitational at Westland University. Sophomore Andrew Boynton, who races in the 50-yard butterfly, the 50-yard, and 100-yard backstroke, will lead the Bantams into two meets against Vassar and Wheaton over the winter break. The success from those two meets will hopefully lead to a strong showing when the men return home against Brandeis on the 24th at 4.30. Trinity Wrestling had a strong sixth place showing recently in the Ted Reese Invitational at Southern Maine. The Bantams were led by freshman heavyweight Craig Vaughn, who went 4-0 and won the heavyweight division of the tournament. Emeka Kanu, Ben Speicher, and James Nelson all contributed with victories to help the Bantams. The wrestling team will participate in five matches over the winter break, one of which is the important home match against Westland on January 17th. Good luck to all sports teams this winter. 
On the behalf of the TSPN staff, we all want to wish you a safe and happy holidays.